And just today, Mayor Kevin Faulkner signed an executive order allowing worship and workouts at city parks. The executive action would help gyms and religious institutions use park space for outdoor operations. News aides Netta Ronpour is live in Mira Mason now with more on this big signing here, Netta. Yeah, the mayor signing that executive order here within about a couple hours ago in Mira Mesa at this community park. So that's going to be a big deal for places of worship and for gym owners, the small studio owners as well. They can use a lot more space, of course, at city parks now. The mayor also alongside council member Christopher Kate saying that they wanted answers from the governor. As you just mentioned, we are now officially off of the state's watch list. The mayor wanting to know what does that mean for local businesses moving forward. In fact, they said they sent a letter to the governor on Monday requesting some more details. Of course, we're waiting for that. The governor expected to make that announcement here uh, coming up shortly. But we did again just here within the past 30 minutes that the California Department of Public Health has removed San Diego County from the watch list. Take a listen now to Mayor Kevin Faulkner. Being outdoors is practically a birthright for every San Diegan. And we know from public health experts that being outdoors is safer, of course, than being inside a crowded environment. Let me tell you, there is no better city than San Diego to take advantage of this fact. The executive order eases permitting. So signing that executive order again will allow San Diego's gyms, smaller fitness studios and places of worship to use city parks. There are 340 city parks within San Diego. That does include Balboa Park, of course, a very popular one. And the mayor saying, you know, you can have Pilates, you can pray, work out, worship, however way you want to word it. All of this going into effect on Monday. We did ask the mayor why it took this long to get this process going, and he said he wanted to follow up up after the county made their decision. Back on August 5th, you may remember County of San Diego leaders waiving their permit fees for county parks like the waterfront and now the city doing the same. So they'll waive the permit fees, streamline the process for the next at least 60 days to go ahead and allow for these boot camps, classes, all of that to take place outside. And Mayor Faulkner issued two previous executive orders, one for restaurants to open up outdoors and also one for fitness businesses and religious institutions along with hair and nail salons to also expand their outdoor operations. Local gym owners have gone through quite a struggle here since the pandemic. They were allowed to reopen back in July, but then their indoor operations had to close because of the number of COVID-19 cases increasing. So then they were forced to move outdoors and not many of them have the parking lots or the sidewalk space available. So I think having this outlet and having some form of structure for them to come in and be able, being able to provide that for them would be extremely, it's, it's healthy, it's mentally healthy, it's physically healthy, and I think people need that because they're getting stuck in the house um, and they're not getting the physical aspect that they need. With some shade and some trees and, you know, here at least the water, the, the grass is watered so that there's a little bit of mist, um, I mean, it will definitely help people and it, it'll keep people healthy, which is important right now. Yeah, we can tell you just standing under the shade of these trees, it certainly feels a lot better than just being out in the open sun. But these parks do have that available, many of them. So again, that executive order official today, but it's all going to go into effect on Monday. That's when a lot of business owners and churches can then open up to city parks. Also, as far as the watch list goes, when it comes to San Diego now being removed from that watch list, we should point out our case rate has been 100 or less out of every 100,000 residents for at least five days. In fact, since Thursday of last week, we've been reporting this number staying below 100, and that was really what the state was watching for. So again, more details hopefully will come out with the governor's announcement here at noon today. Also, Mayor Faulkner requesting more details as well, as he just mentioned. So what all this means for businesses, which ones can open, when they might be able to open, county leaders say it will still be a slow and methodical approach. And that's the latest live here in Mira Mesa. Back to you.